Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before I get into it, it'd be massively appreciated if you went ahead and dropped a like on the video. Cheers. So Rangers boss Giovanni Van Bronckhorst is set for a busy few months working alongside Ross Wilson in what will be his first summer transfer window in charge in Glasgow. And with deals already announced for the likes of Connor Goldson, Stephen Davis and obviously the pre-signing of John Souter from Hearts in January, we will definitely see a few more lads brought in as pre-season gets ever closer. And with the departures already for the likes of Cedric Etting this week, we will more than likely see more players leave the club as time goes on. So Gio joined the club after the end of last summer's transfer window and was Backed by the club in January with Aaron Ramsey, Ama Diallo and James Sands all coming into the squad. And if recent rumours are to be believed then according to the Daily Express and in particular one of their journalists by the name of Ryan Taylor has went on to tell news outlet GiveMeSport.com that Rangers could go on to sign XMK Dons and current Union SG left back Matthew Sorinola. So the 21 year old left back who currently plays his football in the Belgium top flight moved to his current club on a free transfer from MK Dons back in the summer of 2021 and since then he's went on to play 16 games for the club scoring just one goal. It should also be noted that he is a left back but he has definitely found himself playing more left wing back recently and at the age of 21 he has plenty of time ahead of him to develop and he can join with a view of improving over time. So Rangers have already enjoyed success in bringing lads in the door from English clubs and it now looks like they could try and repeat that trick by signing Sodinola. However it should be noted that he would be arriving in Glasgow from Belgium after his transfer from MK Dons. So according to transfermarket.co.uk, Matthew Sodinola has a current value of 315000 with his current deal at Union SG set to expire in the summer of 2024. And according to salarysport.com, they have his weekly wage reportedly being at 1900 per week. So what do you guys think then? I personally don't think we need another main left back this summer and I think Alvin Bassey could be the man the club need. However, I do think we could see another left back come into the club this window. Obviously, we are quite packed in the centre back area and like I said, I do think we will see Calvin Bassey play left back next season and Borna Barisic is dropping into a more rotational role if needed. I'm then not overly sure if the club needs a player like Borna Barisic for that but I honestly can't see Bassey being dropped next season with how well he's done till now. Obviously, Bassey is a left back on paper who can do a great job in the middle but I also think he's been without playing his natural position now for quite some time and if we can get him back playing his natural position then he'll only get better at that as well while also providing cover at centre back if that's needed. So if Calvin Bassey does move to left back then like I just said I'm not too sure what will happen to Borna Barisic and I reckon we could actually see him leave and we could bring somebody into the club like Matthew Sorinola who will go on to play more of a cover role to Calvin Bassey and push him to get better. So personally I could see this happening or something very similar soon but let me know what you guys think down in the comments comments and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers!